Check out more cool videos at thecutup.net. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash thecutup. Okay, everyone. Places. Places. Oops. Action. All right, dudes. It's time to kick some shells. Tubular. Let's shell us some pain. Awesome. I'm going to make them suck my shell. Yeah, that... That was all right. Been a shell of okay, a day. What? Shell, okay, what? Okay, now it's just getting shell, shell, get shell, a lot of shell, control. Okay, shell. stop with the shell thing. Just it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1990 on the cut up. Once upon a time, a rat whom studied the martial art of the ninja fled Japan to New York because his master was slain by a jealous man. The rat's name was Splinter. While in the New York sewers, he stumbled across four baby turtles crawling around in some kind of green ooze. He kept by them and noticed that he and the turtles were not only growing in size, but also intellect. Because of this, he named them after the Renaissance painters, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael. And as they grew, he taught them the way of the ninja. By the time they reach the age of 15, they're amazing martial artists. And just in time too, because the crime rate in New York is increasing exponentially, and it ends up that the cause is another talented, menacing martial arts clan called the Foot Clan, led by a man who calls himself the Shredder. The Turtles look to be the only ones who can do something about it, and when this clan captures Splinter, it's personal. Teamed with reporter April O'Neil and sports equipment fanatic Casey Jones, they attempt to fix everything. But can these teenage ninjas stomp on the Foot Clan and rescue Splinter? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is one of my favorite, and now I recognize it as one of the strangest franchises ever. The synopsis says it all. When I was a kid, I think it was the whole freak show dynamic that attracted me. What? A giant rat and four turtles that no ninja moves? What the hell does that look like? And that was just the cartoon. The freak show meter was off the charts once I saw the trailer for the movie on TV. Guys in big turtle suits doing ninja moves? With talking turtle heads? What the hell? Now that I'm an adult, I feel kind of bad for the actors in the suits. That had to suck. I also think it's strange that the Foot Clan is basically kids. It makes sense in terms of the plot that the Shredder is preying on troubled youth, but aren't these guys supposed to be trained fighters and not kids who want cigarettes? Anything you want to do, do it. You know what I'm saying? Anything. You got any cigarettes? Regular or mental? I guess that's why the turtles always kick their asses, though. Speaking of plot, it's pretty good. It's a pretty sensible story, or maybe it just feels that way because everything else is so crazy. Everything else being the characters and costumes. I can't tell if the acting is good, or if the characters overpower the movie with their crazy look and personalities. I remember this like it was yesterday. Leonardo is kind of the leader. He wears the blue bandana, has swords. Donatello's the brainy one in the purple bandana with a bow. Michelangelo is the party guy in orange with the nunchucks. And Raphael, he's the loner in red with the size. Everyone usually leaned toward Michelangelo or Raphael. Personally, for me, it was Raphael. And size? I don't even know what the hell size were until this cartoon came along. The turtles are always joking. Go! Move it, will ya? Oh, you let him blow right by you! Can you believe this guy? Come on! Don't just ninja kick the damn rabbit! Do something! Hey, guys. <laughs> to the point where even the movie pokes fun at itself and at the times. Ugh. Where did they come up with this stuff? And considering their surfer bro personalities, can you blame them? Awesome! <laughs> Righteous! Bossa Nova! What? Yeah. Bossa Nova? Chevy Nova? Oh. <sighs> Excellent! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Now personally, I think the film holds up pretty well, and I still enjoy it. But this is coming from a guy who was infatuated with the turtles at one time. I used to own, actually, I still own a turtle probably because of this movie. This film may not be enjoyable for the kids of today though, as I'm sure most kids are probably expecting Avatar or Clash of the Titans, and the turtles are basically guys in turtle suits and another guy in shimmery pajamas. But what will really set it apart is the date. 
This is 20 years ago, people. Seeing the hairstyles and clothes, kids today are gonna think that it's from some other world. But hopefully they just think that it's the Turtles world. Because this movie is too awesome to pass up. I mean, really, it's not like 15-year-old turtles who were mutated by nuclear waste, who know ninjutsu, are any dumber than what's out there right now, right? I doubt that is true. With all due respect to the franchise, no matter how crazy it is, this is one movie you definitely have to see. And for you parents out there, I don't care how dated this looks, show it to your kids. Because, hey, even if they don't like it, at least you tried. And you can make fun of them for their crappy movies. Alright guys, that's a wrap. Oops.